Okay, kids, it's your substitute teacher, Mr. Chi. Yay! And today, we will be talking about food. Who's hungry? Well, it's always good to try different food from different countries. Have you kids tried something different before? It's always good to try something new. If you haven't, in America, we have different kinds of food. But most of what we eat is french fries, hamburger, pizza, hot dogs, fried chicken. But what is also good to eat in America is a big, fat, juicy steak. But we need to be careful with what we eat. So let's continue and dig deeper to the different places that you may have or haven't tried before. Now let's use our imagination. Okay. Let's go to a safari, sunrise, sunset, where lions roar. <laughs> let's go to an African restaurant and eat Ethiopian food Yay! called Injera and Tibbs. Injera is a sour and spongy pancake like bread with the delicious Tibbs, cubed or sliced beef or lamb. Awe sauce is a spicy sauce or paste. Now let's have a pajama party. Yay! Well, thinking of pajama party, something creamy like chicken curry. Whoa! Chicken curry is a dish originating from the Indian subcontinent. It is common for the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Great Britain, Caribbean, and Japan. Curry is made with chicken, veggies, or other meats with curry powder. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> well, who's up for Taco Tuesday? Yay! Are you up for Taco Tuesday? How about you? Oh yeah, South American tacos usually come with a hard corn or tortilla soft bread. With your choice of meat, veggies with an option of sour cream, and taco sauce. Take a big bite out of that taco and you will feel the crunch factor. Oh yeah. When you're feeling cold and you have the sniffles, a cold day for some Vietnamese soup called pho. Yeah! Now pho is a Vietnamese soup dish consisting of broth, rice noodles, herbs, and meat. Pho is a popular food in Vietnam, where it is served in households, street stalls, and restaurants countrywide. I think I'm turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese away. When it comes to sushi and hibachi, here has eaten sushi before? Raise your hand. I love sushi, especially Japanese hibachi. Wait, so what is sushi? It is a Japanese dish consisting of small balls of rolls of vinegar flavored cold cooked sticky rice served with garnish of raw fish vegetables or egg. Well, I like eating the California and the Philadelphia rolls. On the other hand, Japanese hibachi. People gather as a family to sit at the restaurant and watch the chef cook your dish in front of you. Mainly meat, vegetable, rice, noodles, and that yum yum sauce. And they make an exciting entertainment while they cook it for you. Well, I would love to walk the walk and talk the talk in the Great Wall of China. Guys, 
who's up for Chinese fried rice? Yay! There are so many kinds of Chinese fried rice. You can choose egg fried rice, different meat fried rice, or even seafood fried rice, or the special house combo fried rice. Whoa! Oh yeah, I love fried rice. Do you kids love fried rice? <laughs> okay. Okay. Or perhaps the buffet. Let's go to the buffet. Now, I feel like a winner when I eat Wiener Schnitzel、Yay! at a German or Austrian restaurant place. Schnitzel means Venice cutlet in German. That is one of the well-known dishes from that country. It is made by pounding the meat until it is thin. Then add bread and crumbs and pan fry to perfection. Whoa! Mmm. Mm. I would like to bow down, who is older than me, and say, "Annyeong haseyo." For respect in Korean, because in South Korea, they have the most delicious and fermented and out of this world kimchi.、Yay! Kimchi can be made out of variety vegetables and even fruits, but the most recognized version, bechu kimchi, is made with cabbage alongside cabbage. It is often contains radish, scallions, carrots, garlic, ginger, chili flakes, and other flavorings. Kimchi has a sour, salty, savory, and often fiery taste. It has the same process of sauerkraut and dill pickles. I personally love kimchi. It's one of my favorites, especially. Especially if it's been aged. Pad Thai makes me wanna go kick, punch, punch like a kickboxer champion and go for the win. Remember, kids, never start a fight in school. Always keep your hands and feet to yourself and a positive mindset. Every single day. Okay. Wait a second. Speaking of sports, our next class will be about sports. Now, where were we? <laughs> oh yes, pad Thai is a known dish in Thailand.、Whoa! Pad Thai is a Thai dish of stir-fried noodles with eggs, vegetable, and tofu, and a sauce of tamarind, fish. Dry shrimp, garlic, red chili pepper, and sugar. Some of the ingredients are provided side as condiments, including red chili pepper, lime wedges, and peanuts.、Whoa! Yeah, kids, if you're allergic to nuts, do not eat nuts. Okay. Okay, kids. Everybody, are you all ready to go to Jollibee? Wait a second. What I meant to say is Filipino spaghetti.、Wow. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Guess what's in the sauce? The difference between Italian spaghetti and Filipino spaghetti is the addition of banana ketchup. Yay! What is banana ketchup? It's actually banana. That looks like ketchup, which makes this a rather sweet dish. But did I say banana? Oh yes, indeed. Well, kids, y'all heard the bell, but I don't want to end this class so soon. But we'll definitely have more foods from different areas and parts of the world next time. Remember, kids, always finish your food because there's kids out there that don't have any. Everyone, I want you all to be good, be safe, stay dry, and have an 
awesome and great day! Once again, this is your substitute teacher, Mr. Cheap, and I'll see you kids in the next class. Bye for now! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! <laughs> <laughs>